Let's talk about the Diane von Fatzenberg dress. I hope I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> to my channel I'm Andrea. Today's video is all about this little Diane von Furzenberg dress from the DVF line. This has been a requested video. It was requested by Silver Sparkles. Thank you very much for your request. So um, let's talk about the dress. But before we talk about the dress, I invite you to subscribe if you haven't already. Whilst you're there, you can add dingle in my bell, which will remind you every time I upload a video. And a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Okay, grab your favourite beverage. I have an English sparkling white. It is absolutely delicious. Cheers. Oh. It really is delicious. Okay, let's get into the dress. So, I ordered this dress from the Outnet, which is kind of um, items that Netta Porter haven't sold and then they pass them onto the Outnet and we get them at a reduced price. Great, great site. It has a variety of um, designers and you can get anything from shoes and blazers and jackets and coats and bags and you name it it's really a great place to have a look for a bargain anyway so i was on the outlet and i came across this dress so i've got an evening out or i'm doing an overnight at edinburgh at the balmoral and we are dining in the one which is a fine dining one of my favorite places so i thought i'm gonna order some Something different so my usual style is very figure hugging dresses and they normally cut away here and high and you know the majority of my dresses in my wardrobe are that style and you're gonna see that because I've got one hanging right there but we'll get on to that one but now discussing this one here so I was on the outnet and, I, and this dress jumped out at me and I thought Oh, I'm going to order that because although I like a neckline that goes up quite high and cut away here, I also really do like a square neckline. And in the photograph, this looked like it had that kind of square sweetheart type of um, neckline. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna, I'm, I think I'm gonna order that. And I looked at the price. Now, the original price of this dress was £451. And on the outnet, it was 50% off. So here is the dress right there. There we go. It's still on the outnet. And it was reduced to £225. Then I managed to get another discount code which took it, <laughs> love a bargain, which I think I ended up paying around about £198 with that added and all of that to it. So, you know, I mean, that's, that's what, you know, you go into Karen Millen, that's what you're going to pay for a dress. I've never ever had a Diane von Furzenberg dress before. She is, of course, very famous for the wrap dress. That was what she was very well known for. But I really do like it. The quality is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if it's £400 worth of quality, but it is really beautiful quality. The dress is called the Diane von Furzenberg Floral Print Burnout Satin and Silk Crepon Mini Dress. That's how it's described. And it is a very beautiful, silky, ladylike dress. But I just wasn't sure of it. When I ordered it and first put it on, I thought, oh, do you know what? I quite like this. It's very different. And I tried it on again and again, but what was putting me off was this bit here. I kept feeling as if the shoulder was going to fall off and I didn't like that. I didn't like the fact that I was going to worry about it and I didn't like the look of it. And I think this dress is designed so you can wear it off the shoulder because it has the two straps like 
so there we go and it can be worn like that but I really didn't like the look of it like that on me because it was above the knee now I wouldn't call this a mini dress but I when I refer to a mini dress, I'm, a mini dress to me is right up your thigh. This is not mini. This was above the knee on me. It is it was a, a length that I would quite happily wear. And I don't like when I'm showing a lot of leg. Because I've got kind of long legs. <laughs> and I don't like to show a lot on the top as well. And I thought, oh, this is going to keep falling off. I could kind of tuck it into the straps. I didn't want to do that. That was already starting to make me think this was not going to work for me. Then I put it on and I showed Rico. And listen, Rico and I have been married for 39 years to the day. The actual day is today. It is our anniversary. I know. Congratulations. How did we survive these 39 years? But we did. Anyway, and I know when he's kind of not overwhelmed by something when I tried it on I just knew he wasn't overwhelmed by the dresses it's nice it's, it's nice it's nice it's lovely come on I just I I just knew he wasn't overwhelmed by the dress so I decided to post it on my Instagram that when I post things on my Instagram I post them because I really am interested to hear your opinion opinion I mean a lot of you have been with me for such a long time and, and you know me well and you know my style and all of that and you all gave me great reasons as to why I should keep it or why I shouldn't keep it and you were all right in your own opinions you were all right a lot of you said you don't like it because you're you know you're not used to seeing yourself in this that I was even told that it was the wrong shape for me because anyway and I felt that as well I felt it wasn't making the most of my shape I felt it was maybe like it's making me look like I had a bit of a belly at certain angles I don't know but it wasn't all of that I actually liked the way the dress fell on me it really it really felt like a beautiful beautiful dress on me and I even liked actually although you know I sometimes looked at it and I thought oh it's making me look like I actually liked the way it looked down here and it would be a dress that you could pull out for so many occasions but I just thought this was really annoying me when, when I kind of fix my thoughts on something it, it was really annoying me up the top here but I, I honestly did like it and you know, when I looked at my statement, the, <laughs> such a cheapskate, when I looked at my statement again, it was priced without the VAT, so it was being priced at, I don't know, it was roughly about £150, and I thought, do you know what, for £150, I'm going to keep this dress. And then when I was, when then when I realised they hadn't added the VAT on that, the VAT, and that it was really more £200 dress, I thought, I'm not keeping a £200 dress for a just in case moment when I've got dozens of other just in case dresses in my wardrobe I mean I've even got a dress in there that I haven't worn yet but anyway I still because I did like it and I loved everything about it except that this would annoy me that it would fall off I was very unsure about it then all of a sudden as I was trying this on I remembered this dress which I've only ever worn once and I wore it at Georgie's christening and even then I had to really keep it covered up because it was at the time when I burnt my leg and my leg was bandaged up so I was wearing like a, a long coat over it and kind of holding it so it would cover up my leg just in case the dress showed the bandage underneath and this is what made me decide the minute I put this on I was like that's me that dress is me through and through I just felt right and I was really surprised that I could still fit into it and <laughs> zip it up I was like yes yes I'm definitely gonna wear that I just felt that was the right dress to wear you will see me wearing this dress 
because I do plan to film our Balmoral trip so you will see that in the future so if you're not subscribed make sure you're subscribed so you can see you'll see the whole outfit and I plan to um, wear it with my Manolos which I mean oh my goodness they were made for each other so that's going to be the outfit for the Balmoral and that's what made me decide that um I was going to send this dress back honestly because I am very much at the stage now I don't keep things now for the sake of keeping them and I look at what I already have even with handbags will I use this new handbag over what I've already got and I'm hard pushed now to use for example other handbags over the ones that I already have and I'm like that with my dresses and I thought no I'm not going to spend £200 on a dress that I'm not going to wear that night and when I put that dress on that was the right dress but as far as the um, Diane Von Fonsenberg dresses go they are beautiful I mean it really is a beautiful 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 dress I mean look at it it is absolutely gorgeous and again this isn't a colour that I would normally go for either and that was the other thing it didn't look awful on me I mean I liked it on me I did like it on me but it didn't feel like me but if you're interested in Von Fonsenberg dresses I would highly recommend them I really really would it's beautiful it absolutely feels like a very luxurious dress there we go and silver sparkles was saying she didn't get a good look at it so there we go there's a nice close-up of it I will do mod shots to show you what the dress looks like on again there we go it's absolutely beautiful and the sleeves are sheer sleeves with just a small kind of bell type sleeve there and really 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 beautiful it is lined there we go under there and you know I had so many shoes that would go with this dress it was unbelievable you know my blue Gina shoes match this dress my black Christian Louboutins match this dress even my um, Valentino rock studs my grey ones with my um, Dior bag when I put the whole outfit together match this dress I had you know I had so many options because it's got the grey in it it's got the blue in it which my Gina shoes are it's got the black which my Christian Louboutins are I had so many options with this dress but I just wasn't a hundred percent sure about it until I put that on and it, this dress just felt right to me so I'm now gonna try it on for you let you have a good close-up of what it looks like on and um, I hope this has helped you if you are interested in this dress it is still in stock at a bargain price and um, on the outing okay so here's a close-up of the dress this is what it looks like on I have it on with my Manolos this time last time it was on with my Christian Louboutins here we go and so the dress can be worn like so
very much Silver Sparkles for uh, requesting this video. I hope it has helped you and uh, yeah, thanks very much and if you would like to see more videos from me, I'm going to link one here, here and if you're not already subscribed, just press the A here so you can see this whole outfit in motion at the one. Cheers!